I recently came across my old PlayStation 1 and I thought to myself, why not pimp this old PlayStation by giving it a new and fresh design? So customizing my old PlayStation is exactly what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of designing and of course in the end we also have to check if this thing still works. Also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and a like and a comment is also much much appreciated. So yeah, let's roll the intro. This thing is dirty as hell, so we need to clean this thing first. Now it's time to grab a pencil and work on a design. And although I really like black and white, for this project I want to create something with a little bit more color. This sketch looks pretty terrible. Let's do that again. Round 2. Luckily the second sketch is coming along much much better. Now we can jump into the next part of designing this PlayStation. It's Posca marker time. A while ago I got myself some new Posca markers so I had a bigger variety of colors. And today I'm finally gonna use a lot of them. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm not sure what you guys think of the design so far, but I think until this point everything is working out pretty good. I'm using a lot of colors and I'm slowly adding more and more layers of paint onto the PlayStation. As far as customizing my very first PlayStation goes, that's done. So now there's only one thing left to do and that's testing if this thing still works. Oh yeah, and also give you a proper reveal of what I've created. So while I set up my cameras, let's show you a proper reveal. Enjoy! <laughs> I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. I'm so disappointed. I, I'm missing the cable to connect the PlayStation to the television. So yeah, that's it. 